We're back here at TalesOfTheTat.com at the Jacob Javis Center for the Motorcycle Show. We are here with Andy. Andy has some tattoos he'd like to tell us. So, Andy, thanks for joining us today. Nice to meet you. How okay, you? good, good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so you have some tattoos on your arms. Yep. Please tell us about them. All right, well, I was actually on uh, the season five of Ink Masters. So oh, just like our buddy Shane here. Yeah, he was on right, Ink Masters right. also. Yeah. So I got the, you know, the, the fortunate privilege of being selected for the show. And uh, well, how did you get selected? Well, just they got an application process, you know, through the through the show and everything like that. So I figured I'm in the New York area, so I might as well try it out. So cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got I got two. Uh, I got a clipper ship here. On this side, I wanted to go a little more American traditional feel, uh, but I wanted a little more detail too, you know. And then on this side, I got the uh, the pirate ship. Wanted pretty dark and ominous, you know. And basically, what what the whole challenge was was that put them together, and it makes one big piece. So, you know, they we had come up with ideas. I had originally wanted a clipper ship on my side, but then they said, "Well, would you like to have them on your forearms?" And I was like, "Sure." And then uh, I was like, "How about we do?" two ships battling at sea you know just like especially if you're going to bring them together you know there's nothing nothing better than that so it's a good idea yeah i like that but what do you have up there actually this is uh this is from a game called world of warcraft okay. i don't know if you're familiar with yeah, it we're all familiar it's with that. uh yeah so it's uh it's not not finished yet uh the guy uh the guy i had down in new orleans kind of flaked out on me so obviously it's still still unfinished but you know i uh i've been playing playing the game since it came out actually it was like Part of the reason why uh, I didn't finish college, so <laughs> so, uh, so I figured you know that's a pretty big part of my life. That's that's where I am right now. That's how I got to be, you know, in the military and everything like that. So I figured that's put a little tribute on there just to show you know just you know part of my life. So cool. And then uh, I got my family crest on this side. Uh, my last name Shaw. So I figured I wanted a little bit of tribute. Planning on doing a full, trying to get a full sleeve, get something in there for my my son and everything like that, and and then uh, I mean I got I got my uh, yeah yeah that's it. This is actually my first tattoo, so my uh, for my 18th birthday my mom paid for the outline, so and then uh, I went and finished up, did uh did about I think it was three sessions stuff like that, so I wanted you know the first. The woman, when she was doing it, she's like, she's like, do you think you can handle that big of a tattoo for your first one? I was like, sure, why not? You know, try it out. So I'm pretty happy with it. But. Well, thank you for joining us, and uh, thank thanks you. for doing all what you do. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, have a good day.